It's right. fine. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. No, we're not starting over. Okay. We're taking up enough of your time already. <laughs> okay, so you first got into pro ball. Right. First got into pro ball, and I was super top heavy. I would, I would throw my shoulders first instead of leading with my hips. So what happened was I was changing that, but what happened, it made me twist. So I'd actually twist my glove and show the hitter exactly what I was throwing. So what happened was I got into the Pioneer League rookie ball in mm -hmm. Ogden. We got in the championship and I had done really well in that league and I got to the championship game and I gave up like six runs in an inning and a half, you know? And I, at the end I was like, what was going on? They said it, you were tipping your pitches. And like I'd literally turn and just show them exactly what I was throwing. So I had to work on that. That's not a big change. Just had to focus yeah. on keeping my glove not towards home plate, you know. But yeah, that was that was the first time I've ever ever gone through that. So it's nice to know that I didn't just have bad stuff that day. That I was actually showing them what I was yeah. doing. But that was funny. I'd never done it before. Cool. Well, probably wasn't a lot real no, that, fun. That game funny was not at the fun. time, but yeah, uh, it's kind of funny. Good to, to be able to look back on it and yeah. know that maybe I just didn't yeah. suck that just day. There's something game, else. Man. Yeah. Of all time. Of all times to do it. Yeah. But anyway, so got into Double A. Yes. First full season. Yes. Um, what? Uh, I mean, you pitch at a high level in college, obviously, in the SEC. Um, how much better are these guys that you're facing in double A? Right. I mean, college pitchers tend to be a little more advanced coming in and move quickly. Right. But, I mean, obviously, you're adjusting your game. Is how much of an adjustment was yeah. it for you? Because. Sorry. No, I was saying, because you, you stepped right in rookie league, mm -hmm. obviously, a little more advanced, probably most of the hitters you're facing had great right. success there, but last year, I'm sure, it was really when you started to see the big challenges. Yeah, you know, you, you, you definitely see it as you move up, man. Guys get an approach and, and just so much raw talent. Uh, first one that comes to my name, or to my mind, is Javier Baez. He's a young kid for the Cubs mm -hmm. that just has a tremendous amount of talent and, you know, hasn't even put it all together yet. So I need to see what, you know, when you see someone like that in a lineup and you're like, man, I can't make my stay because he might hit it 500 feet and uh, for me one thing I started focused on is like we've been talking about my angle I don't necessarily have to worry about pitching on corners on black you know because if I can just keep it low strikes I mean obviously I don't want to just throw it down the middle but focus more down than corners has really helped me it's helped me you know I've never really had a big problem with walking people but it's helped me even more and um, you know just attacking challenging hitters making them swing that you know in college not to throw my pitching coach under the bus or anything, but I had 120 pitches to work with. Here, you have about 75, 80, and they take you out to save your arm. Mm -hmm. So I've had to learn how to get more efficient and, and get outs early and, and to see a guy think, hey, I can beat this guy. You know, I don't want to throw a waste pitch. I want to just attack him and get him to hit a ground ball, fly out. Whatever. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the ground ball yeah. and yeah. You know, four or five pitch inning versus right. eight strikeouts and going right. three innings. Right, so, so that's kind of big, been a transition for me is trying to get more efficient. Cool. Um, I wanted, you kind of touched on when you talked about Baez, but I was going to ask yeah. you who some of the toughest guys that you faced so far yeah. matchup-wise. Yeah, the, the Tennessee Smokies last year had a, had a great lineup. They had Matt Caesar, uh, Alcantara, Baez, and then Bohr were their top four villain away. But, I mean, their first five hitters are all, in my opinion, future big leaguers and, and have unbelievable pop. Um, other than that... Let's see if I could think. I mean, Javier Baez is the one that really sticks out. Yeah. And then Ryan Lamar for the Reds is a center fielder who's really good. I mean, you just every team in Double A has yeah. one or two studs. That you based, just, based on your numbers, though, it doesn't look like any of them beat up on you too bad. <laughs> oh, so man. Lamar got me once. He, he took me yard left field. So hopefully, see him again this year. Do you have a hard time at all trying to elevate your fastball, throw with the high strikes, or? get guys to chase up up in the zone actually yeah it works down a, a little bit i've been trying to work on it because my my curveball comes out you know up high like my fastball so if i can get it if i can throw a fastball at that eye level and then drop a curve you know that's big that's that's a good way to punch people out and and i've, I've struggled with that just because i've never really practiced it i'm not i've never really tried to elevate fastballs just because i'd rather pitch down with my stuff and then yeah. so that's something we've, we've kind of tried to work on a little bit not not a bunch but in bullpen sessions just kind of getting the catcher to set up a high target and trying to work on that it's uh it's not really something i've implemented in games yet unless i just know a guy chases high or uh chases curveballs in the dirt that i can you know change his eye level so we'll, we'll probably work on it more this year you had a chance in spring to work with any of the catchers that uh caught you last year um, in chattanooga well, yeah, Griff Erickson, right there. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm not allowed to pan around and chill, but you all remember Griff sat down and did my actual first major league interview I ever oh, did. Really? So yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, yeah, big, got, big Griff fan. Yeah, he's huge, man. 
Oh yeah, and you're good. He is a big guy yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Griff caught me a lot in Double A. He uh, broke his thumb for a while, so he was out a little bit last year. We came back and did good. And then uh, Chris O'Brien is up here with us too in Major League Camp and Locker. Yeah, oh, right. Next I'm not to supposed me. to pan. Yeah. My bad. No, no uh, Locker right next to him. And roommate. Yeah. So live with him, and he's he's a great catcher. His dad caught in the big leagues, and uh, I know they like him a lot. And he's he's a great catcher. I love throwing to him. And then I've I've been uh, fortunate enough to throw some bullpens to Fed, and he's uh, a great catcher. So hopefully throw some more to him this year. Cool. Yeah, I know the Raptors had a kid last year. They drafted out of Georgia named Farmer. Yeah. That uh, converted to catcher. Yeah, that's what I hear. And, uh, Is he Vanderbilt? Uh, I think it's University of Georgia. Georgia, Georgia. Not 100% sure, yeah. but uh, great bat, obviously, but yeah. he really handled himself behind the plate. Cool. Yeah, that's um, a tough so transition, I'm sure. I would think he's somebody that uh, you might be working with because he could move quickly through the system. Good. He yeah. keeps that offensive production up. So. Cool. Um, how about a shout out to the folks? Yeah. Back home. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. In uh, <laughs> Dallas, Texas. And then, uh, you know, they're coming out soon, so I'll get to see y'all guys soon. Uh, did they get a chance to see you much last year? They did. They, they came around out and a little bit. They came, to, uh, they came to spring training and loved it. Obviously, you can't not like Arizona yeah. this time of yeah. year. I mean, it's unbelievable. And they're coming again this year. And then they were set to come to Rancho, Ohio, but I moved up, so they had to reschedule and come to Chattanooga, which they enjoyed as well. It's probably a little easier town. for them to get to Chattanooga from yeah. Dallas than uh, Rancho, right? Yeah, it is. Well, they fly, so they don't they don't have to drive. Okay. So it's it's not too bad either way. But uh, the way it was hot in Chattanooga when they yeah. came, so it was, and I think it rained on them. They came to Ogden and it rained, and they came to Chattanooga and it rained. So I guess they bring the rain. What uh, I mean, you wrap your head around the concept that you know a couple guys get dinged up, get off to a good start, maybe you know make some good impressions here right. in camp. Right. You might get a call sometime this year. Yeah, it's 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 crazy to think about. I mean, obviously, I do need some help. There's a lot of lot of competition for starting pitching in this yeah. organization. Yeah, you know, but we had eight starters last year yeah. coming into camp. And yeah, that's crazy. We're dipping into the minor league squad by uh, by the end of April. That's so true. Yeah, you so never you, know. Yeah, you do never know. So don't you, wish injuries, obviously. Yeah, never, but never. Especially now that I've met them, you can. Yeah. such good guys. You can never do that. But um. Yeah, you know, you just gotta be ready, man. You gotta, you gotta make impressions and, and and pitch well and hope for an opportunity. And when it comes, you gotta take full advantage of it. And I mean, they say it's hard to get there, but it's harder to stay. And I'm sure you've heard that before. Yeah, but absolutely. I think it's definitely true. So you just gotta hope for that opportunity and take full advantage of it. You know, I, we went to a camp in LA uh, to kind of prepare us for yeah, that. Yeah, prospect happens. development yeah. camp. Right. Yep. But you can't, you can't prepare for fifty thousand people in the stands. You know, and Paul Goldschmidt, sixty feet away. You yeah. Know, you can't. Prepare for that. A little, so little just, different there. Yeah. A few nerves probably going yeah. through the system. But yeah, so you just hopefully gotta, get some of that stuff out of the way during uh, camp here. Yeah, hopefully so. Hopefully get, so. Get over the shock of yeah. you know facing guys making twenty million dollars a yeah. year in the box. And they make that for a reason, obviously. Yeah, they so. do. Cool. Well, I appreciate the time. Thank you very um, much. Again, wish you nothing but success. Thank Excited you. for you. Thank you. Um, one hand. Hope to see you in, in uh, L.A. sooner than later, obviously, because yeah. that means you're doing something right. But right. Again, don't wish injuries on anyone. Never. But uh, Never. best of luck. Let's go Aggies, right? Yes, sir. Gig them. All right. Yep. Peace, man. Thank you.